Okay, today's topic is going to be finding area between curves for a topic from uh, MAC 2311 Calc 1. My name is Kurt Overheiser and I'll be your host as we look at uh, a couple of examples on, on how to do this. Okay, the first example will be to find the area between the two given curves. y equals x squared minus 4x and y equals x plus 6. Uh, if you were to graph this on your graphing calculator, you could use this window right here. X min is negative 5, X max is 7, Y min is negative 5, and Y max is 15. And what you should get is uh, a picture that looks like this. You have a parabola that intersects a line in two points. This point right here and this point right there. Now you can use algebra to find those two points by setting um, the equation for the parabola equal to the equation for the line and then solve a the resulting quadratic or you can use the trace intercept, intersect feature of your calculator. In either case you're going to get that the coordinates of the uh, leftmost point of intersection would be negative 1 comma 5 and the rightmost would be 6 comma 12. I just went ahead and used the uh, intersect feature of my calculator in order to uh, come up with those two points. <clears throat> And what we're trying to find is we're trying to find the area enclosed by the two graphs. And that's going to be this area right here. The area that I just shaded. <clears throat> now the way to do this is uh, to remember um, the following. If you're trying to find the distance, you know, between two points in a plane, what you'll do is you'll take the uh, you have to take the top and then subtract the bottom, and then I'll give you the difference between the y coordinates of any two points on the plane. And what I mean by top and bottom is that we're dealing with two different functions. And so uh, between the two points, the line serves as the top function and the parabola serves as the bottom function. Top in, in the sense that it's above the parabola between negative 1 and 6. So with that, uh, since the since the line is going to be the top, I'm going to put a little subscript here of t for the line, and then for the parabola, I'm going to put a little subscript of b in the equation for the line and parabola, and then. <clears throat> 
that way in order to solve or find out the area between these two curves we have to set up an integral and the integral that we're going to set up looks like this we're going to have um, y top minus y bottom and we're going to integrate that with respect to x and if you look at the x coordinates over here the points of intersection we're starting at negative one and going to six so those will be our limits of integration okay so now we have set up the integral now we plug in our our functions that we want to integrate and it will look like this And then what we can do is we can uh, go ahead, we'll go ahead and uh, rewrite this where we distribute the minus sign and collect like terms and we'll end up with uh, this integral. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll use the fundamental theorem of calculus in order to compute this integral. We're going to find the antiderivative of the integrand and then evaluate it at the limits of integration and subtract. So antiderivative of negative x squared would be negative one-third x cubed. Antiderivative of 5x would be 5 halves x squared. And the antiderivative of 6 would be 6x. And then we put our limits of integration right here. Negative 1 to 6. And when we plug our limits of integration in, uh, when, we, when you plug 6 into the antiderivative, you get 54. And then we're going to subtract from that the bottom limit once you plug it into the antiderivative and when you plug in the bottom limit you get a negative 19 divided by 6 and so when you take those uh, do that calculation you get Three forty three divided by six. And then that would be the that would be the final answer. That would be the area between the parabola and the line that's enclosed between them that you're you're trying to find. For example two We're going to try to find the area between these curves. Y equals the square root of X plus four. And Y equals negative X plus two. And then the X axis will have the equation Y equals zero. And if you use this window, The window being x min is negative 4, x max is 2, y min is 0, y max is 3. You can see what the, the resulting graph is going to look like. And you should get a graph that looks like this.
and you get these three points right here. And the area that we're trying to find is this area right here. Okay, so the first point has coordinates of negative 4, comma, 0. The topmost point has coordinates 0, comma, 2. And the last point has coordinates 2, comma, 0. Okay. So we're going to do this in two different ways. Um, if you'll notice something about the graph here, if we were to do, uh, try to pick out what a, the top function and the bottom function are going to be. The bottom function is, is easy, it's just the x-axis, which, has, uh, which is, has equation y equals zero. Okay, uh, but the top function is actually going to change depending on what um, interval uh, of x you're dealing with. So if you're dealing with maybe um, the interval between negative 4 and 0, the top function will be the, uh, the square root of x plus 4. And so that is valid when x is between negative 4 and 0. And on the other hand, um, when you go for numbers greater than 0, let's say between 0 and 2, end up with a second top function, which would be the line that has negative slope, or y equals negative x plus 2. So depending on where you are in regards to this boundary right here at 0, if you're to the left of 0, you're going to use the square root function, and when you're to the right of 0, you're going to be using the line with negative slope for the top. So we actually have to uh, make two different integrals. So let's write this down before we forget. So for the y top, we're going to put the line negative x plus 2. The bottom is still the same. It's still the x-axis. And then and this is true on the interval from 0 when x is between 0 and 2. Because the top is changing, <clears throat> that's why we have to use two different integrals to set this up. So what we'll do is the, the first integral that we'll do will have limits of integration from negative 4 to 0 and then we do the top function, which is the square root of x plus 4. Minus 0 dx. And then we're going to add to that the integral from 0 to 2 of the second top function, which is negative x plus 2, and then subtract 0, dx. So we get y bottom here, y bottom here, and then we get the first top function over here, and then the second top function for the second integral.
So we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate each of these integrals. And we'll just do the antiderivative of the square root of, of x plus 4 in our heads. And we get um, 2 thirds times x plus 4 to the 3 halves. from negative 4 to 0 and then we're going to add to that the antiderivative of the line which is negative 1 half x squared plus 2x from 0 to 2 and when you do that calculation you end up with 16 over 3 minus 0 plus 2 minus 0 equals 22 thirds. And that would be our, our answer. <clears throat> All right, there is a second way uh, to do this example. We'll call this uh, way number one. And then down here, we're going to draw a line. And we're going to draw the second way. Call it way number two. We're going to do it a different way, but we're going to come up with the same answer of 22 divided by 3. And this time, instead of doing top minus bottom, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the idea of using right minus left. Okay, What's the rightmost function and the leftmost function? So if I redraw that picture, So in, instead of thinking of going from top to bottom, we're going to go from uh, right to left. And as I uh, start right where this little X is at the uh, margin over there, if I come from that direction and then go towards the graph, the first thing that I hit will be my right function. And we'll, we'll call it, uh, instead of y, we'll call it x. We'll say x sub r. And then if I come the other way, I'm going to hit the parabola, or half of the parabola, and that's going to be my left function. So we'll call that x sub l. So the equation for the semi-parabola is given by y equals the square root of x plus 4. Okay, And before, in the previous ex uh, way, we used to uh, call that the top function, but now it's going to be the left function. But because of the, it says x sub l, we're going to have to take this equation and solve for x. So that means we have to square both sides. And then we're going to have to subtract 4. So in this way, when you, when you do that, you get x is equal to y squared minus 4. And since that's the left-hand function, we're going to call it x sub l. Okay, and then the other function... Uh, y equals negative x plus 2. Okay, if we solve that for x, get x is equal to negative y plus 2. And since the line is the right-hand 
part of the graph, uh, the right-hand boundary, we're going to call it x sub r. And what we can do, the, the benefits of doing it the second way is that we can uh, tackle this problem using a single integral with uh, um, only one, one interval instead of having two different inter integrals with uh, uh, different limits of integration we're going to have one integral with just one limit, limit of integration and the key for that is to look at this point right up here and we know that has uh, coordinates of 0 comma 2 and then here's y equals 0 which is the x-axis So to set up uh, the integral, what we're going to do is we're going to go from, we're going to integrate with respect to y instead of x. And we're going to start at y equals 0, which is the x-axis, and then we're going to go up to uh, the top point of intersection that you see on the, on the graph. But since we're integrating with respect to y, we have to look at the y coordinate, which is a 2. So we have to put a 2 up there for our upper limit of integration. And we're not going to put a 0 there because that 0 represents x. And we're integrating with respect to y, so we have to look at the y coordinate of 2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do xr minus xl and then integrate that with respect to y. So plugging our functions xr minus xl, uh, xr would be negative y plus 2 minus xl is y squared minus 4. Respect to with respect to y and then once we distribute that negative and, and combine like terms and uh, pull any constants out in front we'll end up with this integral negative integral from 0 to 2 of y squared plus y minus 6 dy. And then we'll use the fundamental theorem of calculus to uh, compute that. So we'll find the antiderivative and here it is. One-third y cubed plus one-half y squared minus 6y. Limits of integration are from 0 to 2. And when you do that calculation, you get this number. Plug in the upper limit and, the, and subtracting the lower limit. And then you see that we get 22 thirds. which is the same answer that we got using way number one. So there are just two different ways of uh, how you want to look at, look at this. Uh, you can look at it basically this way, where we're just kind of finding the area um, from left to right instead of from up to down or from top to bottom. So I hope this helps. Um, with your study of calculus and integration and the area between curves. And I wish you luck in your studies. Bye-bye.